Welcome to the breakdown. I am De La Creme De La, <clears throat> excuse me, your privileged host of the breakdown show. Welcome back. Um, I want to dig back into this meeting from uh, January 2nd, 2023 at the Village of Dalton. When we last left off, Brittany Norwood was giving her um, speech about the importance of the mayor um, not being a hypocrite and following what she established as trustee, which is uh, timely and accurate reporting of the financials to the board of trustees. Stan Brown is over here looking like um, bird shit. Um, and uh, <laughs> before I continue, let me just reiterate the house rules for anyone who's new uh, for the breakdown show. House rule number one, this is not a no judgment zone. That's what makes this such a special place. This is a place where we all get to get, be hypercritical, hyperjudgmental, see everything and say what we see. Uh, we noticed in the last episode that Stan Brown wears two pairs of glasses, and we don't understand why. And everybody carries extra water to these meetings because they're in survival mode because they have no idea how fucking long they're going to be. That's how much control she has over these people's lives, that they come to a board meeting with four or five bottles of water. That's crazy. Not a hike. Not a camping trip. Not an outdoor excursion. A board meeting. Okay, so let's continue. Uh, uh, house rule number two, this is not for children because I speak like an adult. House rule number three, if you are not African American uh, Negro, uh, if you don't know the Negro National Anthem, <laughs> uh, I'm going to give you a test. I'm going to start right here. <clears throat> Sing a song. If you can't finish that, then be very careful what you say about African, American, black women and people <laughs> in the chat and in the comments. Other than that, as someone did notice, I did open up the chat to nine subscribers. Long as it's cool, it's cool. I love the way we come we converse in the chat. So long as it's cool, it's cool. Uh, other than that, let's continue and forth there has to be some type of transparency we will not be able to work for it as a village if we don't have transparency and that's all we're asking for if you don't want to email us the receipts or pro provide us with the receipts make it easy provide us backward access with my viewpoint so that we're not back and forth but i just want to state for the record that it's unfair that as the mayor you don't see fit for us to receive this information but as trustee this is the very thing that you were fighting for transparency thank you mayor for the record trustee you guys get everything that we have we send an email you get the financial reports you get everything and i've shown that in videos now you want me to go do some more work and show you again that you get what we tell you you should have now as it relates to uh, transparency we have been nothing but transparent here at the village of dalton you guys can do spin cycles scare tactics tell people that we not when we are at the end of the day i keep stating this if it's something that you don't feel comfortable with when you come to this meeting you have literally 48 hours to make sure you reach out ask questions bring up an invoice talk about a receipt whatever it is but y'all all choose not to because this is your only time to get on a platform and talk or say whatever you want to say when y'all really well, you're gonna be a doubt about it call somebody phone ask the question but y'all don't so now when y'all get up here you point the finger this person ain't doing this this person ain't doing that well all y'all have to do is pick up a phone call get your questions answered you have everything that you need but yet we got to sit here and throw tantrums and go back and forth with one another about what you said you did you didn't get all of that like come on like i said y'all should be tired of it Y'all can't keep coming up here making the same excuses when y'all not doing y'all job. That's really what it boils down to. Until y'all do y'all job, y'all can stop with the mess. Miss me with all that in 2024 because we here to do the business. So with that being said, call the road clerk. Key, let's move on. We got another warrant list, please. Clerk, thank you. is this vote for with the amendments? Yes, it is. Oh, okay, yes. thank you. Okay. Let me jump in here real quick and share um, <clears throat> some notes with Tiffany Henyard. Now, while you are sitting here in front of everyone 
telling the board they're not doing their job and they need to call your phone. I'm still waiting for a phone call back from you from about two weeks ago and your voicemail is not on you your voicemail is not taking voicemails honey you have no intention of calling anybody back um and in the same time you're telling your staff your administration your finance director your administrator the water um department director the housing director the uh, code enforcement manager the chief of police the um fire chief you're telling these people your hr manager your maintenance manager your superintendent you are telling these people to not give you not give any information to the board to not answer their phones to not meet with them to not go to their meetings to mute their mics this is war don't share documents with them quote unquote don't you give them shit. And now everybody knows it. Now everybody knows that you've been lying for months and months and months. Remember when you didn't when you said there was no deficit? Then a, a 2.4 million deficit popped out the blue. Trustee Norwood. Hi. Trustee Stan Brown. No. Trustee Tammy Brown. Hi. Trustee House. Hi. Trustee Holmes. No. Trustee Belcher. Aye. Motion okay. Passed. Moving on. Like that was pointless. That was just dumb. So now moving on. Um, <laughs> AP Warrantless. Uh, Trustee Stan Brown. AP Warrantless. You know, let me say this too before he gets into whatever he about to do and, and struggles to read these numbers. It, it. I'm a person who is unhealed will exhibit the same exact unhealed behaviors throughout their life, and. It is a, always interesting to me how narcissists throw temper tantrums when they don't get their way. Like children, like little kids. And that's what we saw just happen here. It's January the 2nd, 2024. Corporate payment registered $2,537,000. Gross payroll, December the 1st. 2023, $442,198.62. Gross payroll, December the 15th, 2023, $468,898.71. Gross payroll, December the 29th, 2023, $520,000. Additional payroll check, $362.06. Melanie Fitness Center registered fourteen thousand five hundred two dollars and twenty cent. Total corporate payments three million nine hundred eighty three thousand eight hundred thirty four dollars and fifteen cent. All right, is that your motion? It's a motion to accept these bills as read. All right, is there a second? Sure. Is there a motion and second. Any discussion? Uh, yes, Mayor. I also have a superseding motion. All right. <laughs> for this <laughs> list as well. Okay. Uh, I would like to uh, request the bills as read with the following items removed. Page 9, existing concrete, $14,123.03. Page 10, five star, $62,375. Page 12, Johns Pro Tree Services, $155,000. Page 13, KNM Ventures, $183,950. Page 14, Lopez Lawn Maintenance, $10,050. Page 17, Pekarski and Sons, $30,740. Page 18, Raul and Sons, $181,950. And page 21, 2J Sheet Metal Works, $58,750. My motion is to um, approve the bills with the amendment stated. All right. Is there a second? Second. We have a motion and second. Any discussion? No. I have one, I have one comment or question. Right. Um, for the bills that are approved on this list, will those checks be released this week? Every time you guys approve bills, we do release the checks. Oh, and I'm asking that specifically, uh, as Trustee Norwood mentioned, and there I've sent, as you asked, I've sent several emails about vendors who have asked for payment for things that were approved. Be more specific. Third Millennium and Associates sent an email on December 1st. They indicated $17,000, which was approved in August. Pure Tech, $32,500. Email sent on December 19th. They were approved in August. LED lighting. That's the um, stop sign, the flashing stop sign. It looked really good. 
seventeen thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars eighty cents that was emailed to on twelve nineteen asking for status that was approved in April. Mako twenty thousand dollars that was emailed on twelve on December eleventh. That's for payment of, of multiple invoices and these construction three hundred seventy eight thousand six hundred twenty dollars and sixty four cents. Again, I emailed without a response on December fifteenth. That was approved in July. That's the reason for my question. Is if I uh, just to confirm, I have your word on record. So that's my statement. Thank you. Okay. So he said, "I have your word on the record." So that's my statement. So before she begins her um, long ass walk around the world to not explain why all these people have not been paid that have been approved. Uh, it has it was not asked in this one um but when for the companies that were removed from the list in Jason House's um list about 3 of those were not lawn care services that would be five star um one other maybe 3 of them were not lawn care services but uh, K&M, Raul's, uh, such and such, Petarski and Sons, all of those are lawn care services. And the question is, why are there so many fucking lawn care services? That's why I say Dalton must look like a plantation with like five or six lawn care services out there doing work at the same goddamn time. It don't make no sense. Especially when they have a lawn care program that has, has children mowing lawns for little to nothing. I don't understand. I, I would like to get some understanding on that. But let's continue. Why do you guys keep taking things out of the warrant list that the people need? Why don't y'all take out the concrete company? Why y'all keep taking stuff out that matters to the residents? Help me understand that, trustee house. Why did you take that out? So the items that I take out. In no, no, no. I'm talking about that one item right there. Concrete. Right. Why, why did you take that out? How, how do public works keep going? If y'all take out people that supply us with things for water main breaks, because we had a whole issue when y'all did this same dance and show when it was Thanksgiving and we didn't have any cold patch. We didn't have nothing because you guys took it out of the warrant list. So how do you provide for the residents when y'all play this game? Would you like me to respond? You should respond. <laughs> okay. My statement has been the same for the last four months. We have bills that are piling up that are way past due. We cannot afford them. And yet we continue to go out and get new bills and accumulate new things without following a budget, without a plan, just willy nilly. Hey, go over here. You get you get a plane ticket. You get some restaurant food. So after at the end of the day, we have to pay all of our back stuff. Public works again. Has public works been paid yet for their back pay for four years? <laughs> now we're past due. That's a lawsuit that they can file at any given moment. We also have other unions that are four years past due. We have tons of bills way past due in addition to the bills that I just read into record that need to be taken care of. So if those bills get taken care of first, pay your old bills first, then we'll look at the new bills. That's my stance. Thank you. Okay. So that's excuse. Let me just speak to what he just said. Now, it is interesting to me. I've talked about the mandate of heaven and the, the Asian philosophy um, that stems out of old uh, Chinese culture that if a leader inside their leadership, there are so many natural or unnatural desires, disasters like floods, earthquakes, uh, water main breaks, <laughs> like constant things happening, that that's, that's heaven's way of saying they have no place in leadership. So, for example... The mandate of heaven is not allowed to be spoken about in China, especially at this time when they keep having floods, they keep having earthquakes, they've had um, black fever, they've had um, coronavirus, they have had a myriad, the black plague, like they, you guys don't know, like they've had a myriad of diseases and natural disasters come through this through the country in such a way that the news has told people if they if they see videos online about floods happening in other parts of the country it's all an illusion it's not happening because they know old chinese people know about the mandate of heaven and the mandate of heaven says if all this shit keeps happening then you shouldn't be in leadership and i'm wondering why dalton has so many damn water main breaks i mean every meeting she talk about something God damn, gas leaks, water main breaks, 
floods, what the fuck else? Now, it is very true that trustee Jason House has been screaming about the need to pull back spending for the last four months. He started talking about it in um, June. It was completely denied in a lime suit that there was a deficit. Slowly toward July, we're denying a deficit. August, we're denying a deficit. September, we get caught breaking checks down, trying to make payment arrangements. Oh, no, we said we got backlogs of expenditures, but we're not using the word deficit. Then finally, in November, we go ahead and admit there is a deficit, but we blame it on the trustees for not paying the bills. So, so trustee Jason House is saying... There is a deficit. We all agree there is one. I've been talking about this for months. Now let's stop lavishly spending. At some point, you got to fucking pull back. And I ask the question again, how come Public Works ain't mad about this doggone back pay? They're owed four years of back pay, about a 12% increase in their income, and they aren't mad about it. Public Works will come to the mic and disrespect Jason House as a trustee. While he is screaming from the rooftops for them to get a 12% raise. Why is that? Public Works comes to the citizens address, a.k.a. public comment, and talks about how the tree service needs to get paid their $450,000, but they don't say a word about the back pay they're owed. Why is that? And why does everybody who supports Tiffany Henry look like a crackhead? Why is that? Because at the end of the day, we still got to provide the service for the resident. Regardless of your thought or how you feel about things and how it's ran, our job is still make do with what we have. So right now, if we have to order concrete or need a, like I just said, a water main fix, uh, a whole um, patch it's people that call us every day about things like that. But you guys sit here and play this silly game and not take care of the people. Your job is to provide for the residents. Yet, you guys won't even pass a tax levy. You guys won't even pass a budget. All these things warranted the things that you're asking to be paid, such as union negotiation, contracts. And you just stated for the record, you've been here, what, six years now? So four years ago, you just stated, right? Four years ago, you was the same trustee sitting there, right? So these are the same problems y'all had four years ago. All we're doing is trying to clean up what has been broken for so long. And if you guys would just work with me and stop fighting on every little thing, we will be a whole lot further as a community. There's no unity here. All you guys is create chaos. Y'all chaos agents. That's all y'all do is go and create mess, but with no solution. Name one thing y'all have came up with and done in this community. Nothing. All y'all do is say, point finger. Oh, she doing this. Oh, he doing that. But y'all ain't did nothing for the people. So prime example, we, I'm arguing with y'all over concrete. Concrete. That's way within our, our purchasing uh, power. If our Percy power is $20,000, we put it on there to be transparent for the record because y'all keep wanting to use that word. But all I'm asking you guys is do what's right. Stop picking and choosing people to not pay. If they did the work, pay them. What is the issue? Pay them. Y'all voted last time to pay. Well, not y'all. That's when Tammy Brown flipped on y'all. Voted to pay everybody, including her friends. But yet you and the clerk chose not to even sign the checks. <laughs> y'all don't even sign the checks after the board voted to. Y'all just say this is how the game go, right? We put it up. They vote for it. And whatever check come up, we supposed to sign them. Y'all didn't sign them at all. So let's talk about how you still got things sitting. Things sit because y'all refuse to sign the checks. So if you refuse to sign the checks, what does that mean? That's my problem. Y'all have to do better, trusty house. You can't want to lead people and can't lead, man. You got to do better. I keep telling you, just because you out of suit don't make you suitable. Stop. Stop. You got to do better than what you're doing right now. And right now you're doing is keeping up confusion, keeping up mess. You got to grow, man. All right. Moving on. Can I? Can I? No, 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 no. This woman is abusive in private. She said, I keep telling you just because you wear the suit don't make you suitable. She says before I keep telling you and then ain't none of y'all leaders. She says this kind of stuff to these people behind closed doors. 
in private conversation. She is 24-7 in need of an ass whooping. Like, to be checked. To be put in her place. She said, I keep telling you. Now, let me start with this. Janice Johnson and her goddamn grocery store bags. Janice, if you don't get you a motherfucking lunch bag and stop carrying that doggone grocery store bag everywhere you go. You already wear them big ass clothes and always chewing on candy like you need some crack. Tiffany, let's work. Ready? <clears throat> Asking. No, the nation is waiting for you to figure out how to say this word. Because we are all tired of you saying you are Kuma Molati <clears throat> from Robert Morris University. Excuse me. But you can't say the word ask. Now, what you're not going to do is sit here in this ugly ass orange suit with this horrible color hair to boot. And a black suit. Who put you together today? Brandon tired of you. He throwing any old thing together for you. He is plum tired of you and your shit. But we going to work on this today. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Come on. Ready? Follow me. No, I don't have a lot of patience with you because you get on my motherfucking nerves. So follow me. Asking. Mm -mm, it's not axing. You're putting a lot more stress. I mean, part of the reason why Brandon has to use so much makeup on you is because you don't speak well. So you put a lot more stress on your face muscles than you actually need to. You don't speak correctly. Therefore, you don't speak efficiently. Try again. Asking. 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 There you go. One more time. Take your time. Asking. There you go. Let's do it one more time and then we'll move on. Asking. Okay, now I heard you say it deep within my soul. Let the people hear you say it next time you say that word. God damn it. And I'm going to continue with my notes. Now, you said that the trustees are chaos agents. The correct term is agent of chaos. Now, where did you hear that term from that you can't say it right? And why did William pray, William Moore, just pray three, four months ago that God, whoever's God, your God, my God, any God, somebody scream. <laughs> Why didn't William Moore, why did William Moore pray that anybody would use you as a vessel of peace? Because you are an agent of chaos. He was so mad at you in that prayer, but tried to keep his job by abusing the people at the same time. So you go around saying what other people are, but that's you all day. Pay to play, kickbacks, agent of chaos. Causing confusion and mass? Absolutely. And you don't like transparency, do you? You don't like it. You, you see transparency as a far off idea that people require. Okay, let's be transparent since you like to use that word. You don't see it as an actual value, as a inward checks and balances to make sure, you know, if in my mind, if I'm naturally transparent and that means people are going to see what's happening, that means it's, a, it's an inward check. It's an intrinsic. Just Google it, baby. Just guess how it's spelled. Intrinsic. It's an intrinsic checks and balances to make sure that I do things the right way. But those of us who are about integrity, we don't mind transparency. We appreciate it. It helps do some of the job for us. But for you, you don't like it. And I'm going to say this one more thing. Again, the reason why Trustee Jason House and Trustee and, and Clerk Allison Key would not sign those checks was because they were broken down into multiple payments. $1 million broken down in eight payments, $850,000 for real, for real. For real, for real. What you going to do with the rest? The other $850,000. What you going to do? Please make a statement. Yeah, make a statement. Um, four years ago, we were not in this mess four years ago. Yes, we were. For correction, we were not in this mess 
we were paying bills. We did not have vendors emailing us on a weekly basis for non-payment. Yes, I did approve to pay my friend, and it is January 2024. And my friend still ain't paid along with other <laughs> because your your so, other friends so, didn't sign the so, check. So, so, so let's get that so right. Now. Let's just make it, you know, be for real, be 100. People are not being paid, you know. So this is nothing that nobody's doing a grandstand show. The emails are here. If anybody would like to see them, I can print you a copy and I will block out the other information. So, yes, again, we were not in this mess four years ago. We were able to to pay our vendors because we follow the budget. That's the reason why you make a budget. And it is to be followed, not to spend and do as you want to do, nearly willy. Thank you. Okay, not true, trustee. Actually, that was quite true. They were not in a deficit four years ago. Um, she started her mayoral term with an actual surplus. Um, and they didn't take out any bonds since 2009 until 2022 when she had been mayor for a year <clears throat> excuse me and while there were some checks that uh trustee house and, tr and clerk key rightfully chose not to sign there were approximately 30 other checks that were signed but never sent let me take me down memory lane Ooh. don't y'all have somebody from five star man remember came for this body and y'all owe him money from 2019 2017 so y'all wasn't paying y'all bills stop lying to the public y'all wasn't like i said y'all got a grandstand on everything and we got the invoice to prove it y'all saw it and wasn't yeah, your you, wasn't wasn't you on the board Hold on, yeah, pause. your friend wasn't paid because your friends trustee house and the clerk key did not sign the check and then I brought it up at the next meeting and I said, hey, they didn't sign the check. So what you going to do? And you sat there, right? Didn't do nothing because it was OK. They can't make up government. The problem is they trying to make up government as they go. But all y'all do is keep losing. Y'all making up a, a fictitious play world of y'all run stuff and y'all don't stop. I am the executive branch. Y'all are the legislative branch. That's it. Know your place. Learn your seat. And that's the problem y'all got. Y'all overstepped. Y'all have to know what to do, and y'all don't. That's why y'all keep losing. Y'all getting school from our attorney, the village attorney. Y'all got legislative accounting that y'all pay. Y'all talk about budgets, right? But y'all been paying that man, right? Y'all been putting him Absolutely on Absolutely not. You have been paying him, that. so Trust stop me, you are out of order. Out of order. You, out you of order. Stop telling so those lies. Y'all been doing that, right? So y'all should stop, stop lying. Y'all keep on having this attorney come in, make up these fake lawsuits that y'all keep losing, losing, at the taxpayer's expense. That's what y'all keep doing. Y'all need to stop. But yet he's on payroll. Did y'all budget for that? Is it a line item for that? No. It is. No. Y'all didn't budget for it at all. And that is the it problem. Is. It's good for y'all, but ain't good for us, right? Y'all could do what y'all want, but minute we say, hey, hold on, y'all. Let, let's change this. Let's fix this. Let's do something different. Y'all keep talking about all that happy medium stuff. I told you that's all fluff. And then we get to this point, man, we got to fight over bills, pay the bills, pay the vendors. They did the work. It's like y'all want us to have bad credit. Y'all want us to have a bad image to the public that we don't pay our bills. That's the image y'all got out there. Why? Because y'all get here and people scared to come and do work in our village. We are a village, guys. This ain't no mom and pop store. We supposed to be known for paying our, our bills, our vendors, not sitting here and pointing out who we going to take out. We don't do that, but y'all do. Call her up. Hey, Claire. Not yet. Um, first of all, that is a prosecutorial attorney. That is not the village attorney. Okay. The prosecuting attorney is an attorney elected or appointed by local government officials to represent the state, or in this in this case, the mayor, in a criminal case brought in a judicial district or designated county. Um that attorney represents Tiffany Henyard. There are several lawsuits that are <clears throat> Tiffany Henyard versus the village of Dalton. And these attorneys, this one right here in his ugly shirt, right here in his ugly ass patterns, her and Michael Delgado, and then there's one other young guy that they keep around. They represent Tiffany Henyard. So no, 
She is not the village attorney. <clears throat> and that's part of the issue because Tiffany Henry should be paying her directly, not the board. That's why the board keeps taking, <clears throat> excuse me, her bills out. Now, Tiffany Henry, let's work on something else, okay? I heard you say five star came for this body. You sound ignorant. You sound a mess. Just make it right. Slow down and say, came before this body. It No, it really does sound that bad. Like, you really do sound that stupid when you say, came for this body. That's not acceptable. No. Came before this body. And since we're talking about Five Star, let's remind us that Mayor Riley, the previous mayor, didn't approve a lot of those bills for Five Star. So some of those bills go years and years back. And Tiffany Henry was a trustee then. So what is she talking about? Let's continue. <laughs> this is we we done with discussion. Call her up. Clerk, is this with the amendments? I'm talking to the clerk. Clerk Key. This is, is this vote for uh, trustee? Thank you. Thanks, clerk. I appreciate it. <laughs> Aye. Trustee Norwood? Aye. Trustee Stan Brown? No. Trustee Tammy Brown? Now, Aye. While Trust they are voting, House? you're watching a conversation happen between Tanjanique and Tiffany Henyard. You may remember that previous to this, inside this meeting, a conversation was mentioned where uh, it was about the credit cards and whether or not the trustees had shut off the credit cards. So out of, out of the blue, um, Tanjanique Miller, the finance director, has appeared with two sets of papers for Tiffany Henyard. They're deciding which one of them look more believable to tell the people that the trustees cut off the credit cards. That's what's about to happen. But you'll never, ever, ever to this day see either of these documents up close. Aye. Trustee Holmes? No. Trustee Belcher? Aye. Motion passed. All right. Here we go. Um... Also, too, y'all know I'm the receipts lady, right? I always got paper, paper trail for all of them. They were saying that they credit card that they that we line. Here's the proof right here. An email stating that they canceled the doggone credit card well, send it from to the us bank. So we can see it. Give it to all y'all, including the public. Hold but on, my point to y'all is stop believing the lies. They lie so much up here that they that we line. Here's the proof right here. An email stating that they canceled the doggone credit card well, send it from to the us bank. So we can see it. Give it to all y'all, including the public. But my point to y'all is stop believing the lies. They lie so much up here. It don't make no sense. Like I said, every number that they that we line, here's the proof right here, an uh, email stating that they canceled the doggone credit card well, send it from to the us bank. So we can I'm going to give it to all y'all, including the public. But my point to y'all is stop believing the lies. They lie so much up here. It don't make no sense. Like I said. Now, why wouldn't that have been distributed to everybody if that was some real shit? Why wouldn't that have been distributed to everybody if that was some real shit? There's too much information on there for it to say what she said it said. I trust the help. It has about four or five names listed. Aye. Trustee Holmes? No. Trustee Belcher? Aye. Motion passed. All right. Here we go. Um, also, too, y'all know I'm the receipts lady, right? I always got paper paper trail for all of them. They were saying that they credit card that they that we line. Here's the proof right here. An email stating that they canceled the doggone credit card well, send it from to the us bank. So we can I'm going to give it to all y'all, including the public. But my point to y'all is stop believing the lies. They I'm trying to figure out one, two, three, four, five names. A list of five names. But it's supposed to be house and clerk key that were removed from the bank account. Lie so much up here, it don't make no sense. Like I said, every night I gotta prove my love. Every night I gotta show y'all what it is. It's sad. They lie because they can't beat me. I keep telling you, they trying to run a campaign on lies. Ain't gonna get you nowhere. Nowhere. 
Next on the agenda is new business. Is there a motion to terminate uh, contract with Otison, Stark, Murphy, Frazier, and McGrath, LTD as legislative counsel? Is there a motion? Now, make a note that she said this was new business, but we have heard this over and 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 over again on the agenda. But she has the nerve to put this on the agenda under new business. Let's continue. Motion. Is there a second? Second. It's been motion and second. Any discussion? This, yes. Can I be recognized? Go ahead. Okay. For one, I don't understand how it's new business and you keep putting it on the um, agenda every period. So I'm going to ask the attorney and refer to the attorney. At what point, if it keeps voting down, is there something that says it cannot go? No, nope, I'm going to put it up on the agenda I, every board. Okay. Meeting. I asked the attorney. I, just asked. I asked the attorney. And I just asked. Okay. So then my next thing is because she sit here and tell these lies to say that we are paying an attorney. She has not paid the attorney. She wants con total control. So she thinks that she's the only person that can have an attorney. And then we have no legal representation. That's for the board. If you look at the budget for anybody that was here during the time when they had a fictitious town hall meeting, which if that's what they call it, it says $455,000 was spent in actuals for legal counsel. 432000 of that went to Delgado. Right. So when people sit here and they sit there and talk about what they got receipts for, what they don't have receipts for, she has not paid Bert Otterson. So as long as Bert Otterson, McGrath, or anybody else want to give us free legal advice at this point, pending payment, we're going to accept it. So you can put it on there every meeting to one of us is absent two three four of us is absent but you're not going to sit here and keep trying to control the situation where your attorney because he made it perfectly clear he worked for you he don't work for us we didn't hire him as the uh corporate counsel we right. hired delgado firm as the prosecuting counsel so technically we don't even have corporate counsel but for you to sit here and keep lying saying that we are paying somebody that you know has no check has been cut you need to stop it's ridiculous. And you sit here and talk about, I did this, I did that. They lie and they lie. She sat here and just pulled up a piece of paper. If you got something that said that it canceled it, and I'm sure all of y'all, including you, was on the email, we requested it. Why wouldn't you give it to us? But you say we sit here and wait till we get here to ask the question. If she had something, she should have sent it to us. Then we wouldn't even have the discussion. But for you to sit here and keep sitting lying, talking about somebody first, we can go back, pull the meetings up because she good for pulling them up. First, she said we paid them six hundred thousand dollars. Then we paid them almost a million dollars. But if you look at the actuals, only four hundred and fifty five thousand dollars been spent in legal costs. And most of it went to Delgado. Right. So who lying? So who lying? All right. You finish. All right. Go ahead, Tangeny. Um, Otterson was not budgeted for in the budget. Thank you. Legal counsel did Hold not have no description of who it is. Let her so Otterson was. You, see how so she you was quiet too. You gotta be quiet. Liar too. House and asked him on what page was Otterson budgeted for. I still have legal expense trustee. Let her finish. You see how we be quiet and let you do your little rant. Be quiet. Let her talk. She got the floor. I am it's not her justice. Time. You're not telling it's me. It's her time. Quiet. You have to be quiet. <laughs> no, I am not. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, Tanjanik. I just wanted to make it clear that was not budgeted for illegal yep. expenses. Oh my God. That's your and problem. That's your for. problem. Be quiet. It was not amended and added. It was not budgeted for it. And it is not included this year either. Legal expenses okay. does Thank not show you. trustee. Specific you cannot over talk expenses. her. Let her get her point out like you just did your rant. So you have to be quiet to hear her side. Like we was quiet to hear your side. Stop. Point of order. Follow Robert R rules of order, please. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead, go really? ahead, Tangeni. Was not cut. That does not mean the expenses were not incurred, and you're putting the village of Dalton on the line to pay those expenses. Thank you, thank you, so, Miss Miller. So as we well, go on, um, and we talk about this, and we go back and forth, as you can see, people are so out of order, so disrespectful. You got to give respect in order to get it. If we talk and we be quiet, you got to give us the same courtesy. Ain't nobody interrupt you, whether you was lying or not. We shut up and we listen to your lie. Now you be quiet and let the finance director respond to you, like how we just did with you. As it relates to y'all attorney, y'all attorney do not. So you said free help, get that back because it's free. It shouldn't be for you because he ain't winning no cases for you. So why would you even have a person like that around if they causing the, the village to taxpayer money? Also, 
Y'all walked out of that last board meeting, right? Y'all pay no bills. Reminding you that we still got public works, police, fire, all these expenses, the day-to-day operation, the light bills, the gas bill, all the things to run a business was still at stake. But y'all walked out. Tired your mom went by, right? That's what I'm talking about. Y'all don't care. Because who walks out on the people? I don't care whatever y'all bring up about fighting back in the day or whatever, but I never walked out on the people, but y'all did several times. Y'all walked out on a 33 million dollar lawsuit. That's why we got the 33 million lawsuit right now. Y'all walked out again at the last board meeting. Y'all walk out on everything. Y'all gotta sit here and sit in the fire. If you don't like it, so be it. But that's what discussion is for. We go back and forth, hopefully find a happy medium. If we do not, then guess what? Then them people are just gonna get paid because y'all chose not to pay them for whatever reason that you thought you should pay them. And it's warranted. That's what I'm talking about. Pay people after they have done the work. When there are storms in our community, we had a storm, right? What was y'all faces? I ain't seen not one of y'all on the block. I ain't seen not one of y'all helping nobody. Not one. Trees was on cars, trees was on houses. And guess what? The day before, y'all chose not to pay no vendors. But every single vendor came out and took care of the people. Every one of them. That's because of what? You network relationships. They didn't want to leave the people high and dry. So they say, you know what, man, we got you. We're going to come out and we're going to make sure the people are taken care of. That's what I do as a leader. You guys just talk and talk about nothing and ain't producing nothing. And that's my problem. Y'all talk, but ain't putting in no action and no work. At least my work speaks for itself. No matter what y'all want to put up against me, go lots of people, bring media here. Who tears down the town? Like, think about that for a minute. Y'all, y'all black. Black. Look how we fight. African American community fighting like this. Over what? A title? A seat? I told you, you all our bench warmers. Everybody gotta go. At the end of the day, you wait your time. You wait your turn. Your turn ain't here yet. We don't run to 2025. And then you let it be what it be. Like I said, then you come and run against me. All that little fake stuff y'all be trying to do, it ain't working. And it ain't gonna work. As he said, any weapon form against me ain't gonna prosper. So y'all should stop. Call the world, Clucky. Nigga, I'm coming. You got something else. Go ahead. <laughs> so, my, just the, the entire meeting is set up for an argument. Um, information is not given to the board. And then we get in here and set up to say, Yes, I did. Um, my ask, I keep asking the same thing. Let's put it on the website. We don't have to go back and forth. We don't have to do any of this show. The same item has been put on the agenda for the last nine meetings. I told you Janice Johnson be up there uh, fiending. I'm exaggerating. But the mayor did say she's going to keep on putting it up there, knowing that there's not enough support for it. It's set up just for us to come in here and argue. That's the whole intention. Come in here and argue and then state, I don't want to go back and forth. I mean, uh, we know most people say definition of insanity, doing the same thing, expecting a different result. It's insane to put up the same item knowing it doesn't have support. But it's set up for the argument. It's set up and then to twist it and say, oh, board, you're doing this and you're doing that. It, it really doesn't make sense. But. If we have to, if it has to be vote, put up there nine times, put up there 15 times for us to go and do it. But just understand, we talk about why the whole back and forth, the meeting is set up that way. As board members, we can look at the package. And I'm, I'm sure the mayor, everybody looks at the package by now and say, oh, that one right there, that's going to be the argument. Corporate bills, we know that's where it go up. So like, well, I don't think even most people tune in until about an hour into the meeting. So that way they can get to corporate bills. Um, but again, the meeting is set up for an argument. Um, sorry that it's set up that way, and hopefully we'll do different in the next meeting. Thank you, Trustee. Yeah. That's that's definitely not true. And then um, you should basically pause on the things you actually say. If it's but here's the question: of all the things that he does say, why did it bother you so much that he said that, Tiffany Henry? Why does it bother you so much that he said the meetings are set up for an argument? Up for argument, then why take the bait? Stop it, cause it ain't set up for argument. The whole point is to show people Tiffany, that y'all are. Tiffany, Tiffany, baby, shut up for a minute. Listen, it's not an argument. It's an argument. 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 Say it with me now. Argument. There you go. Argument. All right argument come on now argument good girl okay go home and practice that one too shit full of crap y'all put things up on here y'all spend taxpayer money y'all do all this wasteful spending but point the finger at the long wolf the one that's still standing Wait, can you can you can you indicate one tiffany henry to anybody else in the whole why atlanta please tell me one one form of wasteful spending that the Dalton trustees have participated in or committed. One, just tell me about the one time they wastefully spent taxpayer money. Right? The one that's still standing, y'all point the finger at me when it's you guys that's really running them up. You four. Trustee House, Trustee Belcher, Trustee Noah, and Trustee Tammy Brown, who don't read nothing. She listens to what y'all tell her to do and come and vote accordingly. So state facts 
and I have all the proof always of everything y'all lie about. But yeah, we got to put on a show like we always do to sit here, go back and forth for hours about nothing when y'all can just do right. All right, call her up. Yeah, I know we still in discussion. Yeah, we still in discussion. I know she had a speech, but I, I was waiting. What is that? I can't hear you. I hear now you just I said, said you, we were in discussion still. So I said, I know you were talking. So I was waiting on you, but you got something to say, yeah, trustee? Yes, ma'am. Okay, go ahead. Um, and this is just for the record and I'll keep it fast. It's the hypocrisy it. for me. Again, it's it's as it. trustee, she sat in his very seat. And when she felt the mayor was not, was withholding information that she was entitled to, she did the she exact did the same, same thing, which thing. is get their own special, special counsel. So when we everything. have this discussion and it's like, this is some foreign that just these, these set of trustees decided to do just for the record. It is not. This is what people have to do when they have a leadership that is not transparent. Thank you. Trust it, you ain't getting the flow no more. You repeat the same thing every time. Okay. You need just to stop repeating the, the same just thing. Just for the record. I'm just letting just you know. We done with that. Move just on. Call the road, clerk. Call the road. May I, may I, can I? You got something? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. I'd just like to say, uh, you know, to us as the trustees, uh, in December, we had three paydays. And you had individuals on the police force i don't want to discount how disrespectful that was for the mayor to tell a trustee an elected official you ain't getting the flow no more while in a small podunk town that where everybody knows your name that might be cute it is completely disrespectful and dysfunctional and i'm not gonna let that moment pass without mentioning it the fire department and public work they were wondering if they was gonna get paid that money for for the holiday. <laughs> we actually had a pay a payday December the first, December the fifteenth, December the 29th. and for us to not to even approve that that was totally unfair huh. and disrespectful to these individuals that was worried about were they gonna even get a check for the holiday. Mm -hmm. So that's just something to think about. You know, when you just walk out like that, that's that's unfair to them. That's unfair to them and their family. All right, um, Colorado. Colorado. They, they got paid, but it, but we had a meeting on the fourth, and we got Stay, the holiday on, coming man. up. We got the holiday coming up. We got the holiday coming up. Everyone was paid. Stan. Hey, Jason, I don't need glasses on when I talk. Yeah, I don't need glasses on when I talk. So let well enough alone. Stay, stay, stay with that lane where you at. Because hmm. I'm just putting the point out here for people to understand what's going on up here. So it's going back and forth, and I'm not going to participate in the, the little back and forth going. But I'm just looking at individuals that have spoke to me about this. So I just wanted to relate it to you guys. So when you just up and walk out of meeting, think about other people that's going to be involved in that. You're not just going straight at the mayor because what it is now, anybody around the mayor. Just take it out on them. You don't care about mm -hmm. the, the residents such as you guys say. And you and you talk strong about the uh, retro pay for public works. When you stop worrying about public works. <laughs> you know, so now we're we getting all that and we know what, what's, what's happening right now. But I just want to put that on your head that you walked out with three paychecks for that December. Uh, yeah, they got paid. Yeah, they got paid. Mm -hmm. But it was just a threat you put on them when you walked out the meeting on them. Thank you, man. All right. Shut up. My mama said, uh, my mama from California, and she said back in the day, they used to call Brazilian nuts nigga toes. <laughs> That's what I see when I see Stan Brown. He look like a fucking Brazilian nut. God damn. Like a scrotum. Um, Y'all don't worry about Stan when he take his glasses off. You know he got two pair of glasses sitting up there. He took his glasses off like he was ready to fight. Jason said, put your glasses back on, man. 
He took his glasses off just to put another pair on. Tiffany is the author of All This Damn Bad Energy. She got Stan over there feeling crunked up. Like, hey, back off. Leave well enough alone like he gonna fight Jason House in the fucking parking lot. And the trustees did not up and walk out. They legally adjourned the meeting. Now, Stan, let me ask you a question since you feel like talking today. Why in the fuck did you downplay the back pay that is owed to public works? I can't even fit you in the screen. God damn it. Big ass head. Why did you downplay the money that is owed to public works? Their 12% increase in pay. You say to Jason, oh, so now you care about public works. Well, everybody should care about public works. Why not? Why don't you? Because they supplying you with your shit. That shit that got you all dark around the eyes. We wouldn't know if you was dark around the mouth if we tried. But listen. Mm-hmm. We see you still. Kirk Key, call around, please. Thank you. This role is for termination of contract for Otis and Murphy Frazier McGrath as legislative counsel. Trustee Norwood. No. Trustee no. Stan Brown. Yes. Trustee Tammy Brown. No. Trustee House. No. Trustee Holmes. Yes. Trustee Belcher. No. Motion failed. And for the record, residents, he tried to take $2 million from my insurance policy. So it's a shame that they keep up with the mess. But stay tuned. Stay tuned. Next, is there a motion for approval of the 2023-2024 annual appropriation ordinance slash budget? Is there a motion? Man, I have a motion with amendments. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Um, my motion is to approve the ordinance. I'm going to read into record. There are several amendments, and then I will use. Can you? To, did you give that to our team? Whatever the amendments I, are, so my, which was my statement, I will read. Can, the can you give them that? Email. Can you print that so they can follow with whatever you're speaking of? I do not have a printer right here, man. So see how you ain't come prepared, but you want us just to listen, and you already got your mind made up of what y'all gonna do. But these are the department heads that should understand what it is you're gonna take out of their departments. Stop it. Okay, so my motion. Yeah. Can you send that to us now so we can print it so we can follow you? Can you email that to uh, Keith Freeman so we can print it out so they can follow you? So they can understand what it is you're about to do for their department with the amendments? Sure. <laughs> oh, so now, the, the mentality that Tiffany has, the vent village department heads, and she tried to have the... Uh, see, Chip, let me say it this way. Tiffany Hennett was trying to foster this environment where everybody just kind of spent the money willy-nilly and nobody talked about it. You know, I do it, you do it, she does it, he does it. We don't tell on each other. Hold on one second. Um, um, so, if you remember when, her, when she first became mayor, she told Brittany Norwood specifically, just do whatever you want. And whatever you need um, money for, just put it in the budget and there will always be money there for you. So she's she's got these department heads increasing their own department budgets. <clears throat> but all the while, she's using their budgets for her own purchases. Not only that, they're, in, they're submitting invoices with no receipts, no nothing. So... There's a whole lot going on. And trustee Jason House is now saying, hell no, we ain't increasing no motherfucking department budgets when we can't even get receipts for the shit y'all are already sending us. And print that so that everybody up here can have it. You got this? Do you have this with her? Mm -hmm. Now, mind you, she is demanding that he have these amendments submitted in writing 
but she still hasn't showed whatever that paper was in her hand that said he cut off the credit card. You can't play too nice with these people, I'm telling you. Yeah, she made several. Yeah. Okay. Is it sent? No, nah, I'm still connecting to the Wi-Fi. Yeah, uh, Trustee Belcher is mentioning that, but I also do believe that um, Keith Freeman has decreased the bandwidth um, of the Wi-Fi to make it more difficult for them to connect to Wi-Fi during the meeting. That's the type of shit he does. <laughs> Yeah, why, why people don't make that trade with your credit card? Can you make sure we get a copy of that? The information too that Tanjanique just got to the mayor saying that the card was canceled and we just bring out stuff. I would like a copy of that right now. Right. Like everybody else is giving their stuff right now. I'm just saying, since we're waiting on him to send something, if y'all print stuff, can you get that to me? Like I asked you for something earlier too. Uh, did you, I'm, like, did you, um, I'm asking him a question. Email. I'm saying this. Chill out, roll it. Okay. You got the email? Okay, print that out so everybody can go be done with all this. Okay, so motion is to approve the budget as presented with the following adjustments. Line 01-00344 reduced $6.8 million. Line 01-00344.2 increased $200,000. Line 01-00-391 decrease $525,000. Why, why don't you tell the public what that stuff is? You um, just you saying line items and not telling them what it man. is. Line 01-12-420. So right. Reduce $110,000. Line 01-12-420. What is that, trustee? Mary, you're going to get a printed copy. But no, 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 no. Hold on, pause. I will tell you this. Don't, don't tell, tell me I'm going to get a printed copy. Tell the public what you are decreasing and increasing. You're talking about transparency. Be transparent. Because right now you're just saying numbers. Fit, and you can tell, yeah, tell you the can public. No, 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 no. See, those that's how narcissists punish you for making them honor your boundaries. Like I was talking about before, the person who I said, Don't talk to me about work after work because all you talk to me about is some toxic shit. I don't want to hear nothing about not in fashion my life around peace. And so that person will come home from work with a bitchy attitude and say, Well, you said I can't talk about work. <laughs> Well, bitch, that don't mean you can come home and abuse people either. <laughs> so she's going to punish him by, by operating in his legal rights. She said they don't do their jobs. But every time they do their job, she makes it difficult for them. He's doing his job right now, and she's making it difficult for him. And lying on him to boot. You, you should tell the public what you're doing right now. You want to be transparent. Go ahead. Tell them. So we all know what that line item is. They don't know what 0.1.22 is. Tell the public what that line item is. So they all understand it. Who are you talking line about? Line 01-12-421 reduced $50,000. Line 01-12-422 reduced by 55000 You can't even tell the public why, what you're reducing, why you're doing it. Line 01-12-123 Trustee. reduced $62,000. Line 01-12-424 reduced 25000 Line zero one dash one two. And this how stuff get here. Y'all don't even know what them numbers are. Line zero one dash one two dash five eight one reduced two hundred seventy thousand. 
line 01-12-592, reduce 115 thousand. Line 01-12-469, reduce 300,000. I know, it seems Line 01-12-469, reduce 155,000. Line 01-15-421, copies for everybody? increase 25,000. And you will be able to go back to one of the other meeting marathons where the Dalton trustees had a special board meeting and went over these line items. Line 01-15549, reduce $500. Line 01-15-563, increase 2000 Line 01-15-830, increase 3000 Line 01-12-421, Decrease 1.1 million. Line 01 21 422, reduce 300,000. Line 01 21 426, reduce 900,000. Line 01 21 428, reduce 5,000. Line 01 21 598, reduce 15,000. Line 01 22 427, reduce 130,000. Line 01-22-426, reduce 27,500. Line 01-22-428, reduce 400,000. Line 01-22453, reduce 25,000. Line 01-22611, reduce 40,000. Line 01-25-421, reduce 25,000. Line 01-41-421, reduce 300,000. Line zero one dash four one dash five two zero. Say re, re, decrease two hundred fifty thousand. Line zero one dash four one dash five five seven reduce two hundred fifty thousand. Line zero one dash four one dash five nine eight decrease sixty thousand. Line zero one dash four one dash. Henry doesn't understand is that every single thing that Trustee J uh, Jason House is reading off right now is somewhere a village director has increased their annual budget for their department and there is no fucking explanation as to why. So this was all money, all taxpayer money that was going to be funneled to the village department heads and Tiffany Henyard with no explanation as to why. Padding their pockets. Padding pockets of their dope dealers. Padding pockets of their favorite tree companies and the 10 lawn care companies and the ice skates. And the skating rink and trips to Las Vegas where people get raped and drugged. Uh, white socks coats with tags on them. You know, edge control. <laughs> Grocery bags for Janice Johnson. Drugs and alcohol for Kim. I guarantee it. 629 decrease 50,000. Line 01-41-830 decrease 25,000. Line 01 dash 42, 421, decrease 50,000. Are you done? Line 0142-611, nope. <laughs> decrease 80,000. Line 01-46-597, decrease 70,000. Line 01-44-423, decrease 50,000. Line 01-44-423, decrease 25,000. Line 01-44-423, decrease 50,000. Line 01 44 decrease 25000 01-47-596, decrease 5,000. Zero one four seven five nine seven decrease seven thousand. Zero one twelve nine nine six decrease hundred thousand. Zero one two one. Uh, Stan, you want one of these? Decrease. Drew, want one? Because I know they didn't give it to y'all. Zero one twelve five one two decrease thirty five thousand. Zero one dash four one five five seven decrease twenty five thousand. You only getting one. Zero one dash four one six five two decrease twenty five thousand. That is my motion. Wow. Woo. Woo. I don't even know what to say. Bye, right? I don't even know. Look, it's a shame that people just sit here and read all these numbers to y'all. And y'all don't even know what they are. But they talk about transparency. Oh, my God. I can't make this stuff up. I don't know half the stuff he just read, but I'm about to read it in record for you so you can understand what they just did to y'all. This she, is the budget for your time. This is your to say. What she means to say is, <clears throat> I'm a liar. I lie a lot. I lie every day. I lie. I lie all day. I lie about every single thing. But I would have never, in all my lying years, had imagined something like this. I couldn't even make this up day-to-day -day operation just so you understand what they 
just did, right? They didn't talk to not one department head, find out what the need was up here for public safety, housing, uh, code enforcement, nothing, nothing. Y'all even took out the $6.8 million grants I went and got for y'all. That's sad. That is sad, guys. But okay, here we go. Let me see. And he, he ain't got it like where it's itemized like it should be. He got salaries in administration. You want to reduce it by $110,000. You took away the, the grants of $6,800,000. You took away the CDBG. Uh, or you try to increase it. Okay. Uh, you took away the homewood disposal. So residents, for those that don't understand how this game go, homewood disposal, that's your trash. That's to pick up your garbage. How are you to get your garbage collected if they took it out of the budget? How do we pay guys? They, they're not telling you the fact that this is the hidden stuff, but we talking about transparency, transparency, right? So then we go to, uh, salaries for human resource. We got 50 K. Yeah, well, you should tell. And since there's a little pause in there while the attorney is explaining to her how to read something, um, the $6.8 million has still not shown up to the bank account. The bank account has by this point been uh, overdrawn at least five or six times. And the $6.8 million has still not showed up. The village heads are not allowed to speak to department, to the trustees. So obviously they didn't get to ask them what they wanted that money for. And the budget money wasn't taken out. There were budget increases that were requested by department heads that were denied by the trustees. Why does waste management need another $125,000 next year? They're providing the same exact service they've always provided in the same exact way. They're not providing any new equipment. They're not providing any new days, any new hours, anything. So why is waste management getting an extra $250,000 next year? Why? See, that's that mafia shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and see the the lawyer, the attorney that that educating them, uh, just said that this is debt that we created in the past, of course, uh, for five hundred and twenty five hundred thousand uh dollars, and we have to pay it. How you gonna how, how you gonna just take it out of the bun? Like what, what the heck? Where you get the money from? I'm just saying. But this is stuff they do, the nonsense they do, right? So after that, let's keep going. Let's keep going since they took time to do this. Uh, a grant writer. They took. Do you notice that? Tiffany Henyard speaks about the attorney as if she's not a mayor. An attorney would aspire to be a mayor or a governor or a president. When Barack Obama was an attorney, he dreamed about being in government office as a junior senator or a president, which those are the only two government offices he ever held. Think about that. <clears throat> but. She speaks about the attorney as though she's not a mayor because she has no matriculation educationally or experientially. She, uh, Tiffany Henry ain't never been nowhere. So she speaks about the attorney as if the attorney is superior to her because most likely educationally and experientially she is, although she shouldn't be. That's what we're dealing with here. Out 55k for a grant writer, uh, salaries for customer service they took out 62,000 for the youth program. Oh my god, y'all don't want to help the youth, they took out $25,000. Oh, that's why y'all don't do nothing, no way. Okay, then you got printing, you took out $10,000 for printing. How you get stuff printed? You got to print the water bills and all these other things, but okay. Uh, general liability, you took out $270,000. Special events, oh, you don't want us to do activities for the community, $115,000. You also also took out what is this? What settlement for what? I don't know what that is. So settlement of $115,000. You took out maintenance supplies for building. This is how we keep up our buildings. All our government buildings, water department, public works. Uh, what what is that? Fire, police, all of them, right? The maintenance. They took out $155,000. So when uh furnace go out, when a boiler go out, how y'all gonna fix this stuff? I'm just saying. Hi, I'm going to cut in here because she's doing a lot of twisting and y'all know she does that. So let me speak specifically to what she's doing. I usually fast forward specifically through her, uh, but today we're going to break her down too. So she speaks about the attorney. Of course, I, I mentioned about how she talks about the attorney. Uh, the grant writer that had a $50,000 budget before, there's no need for a grant writer. 
<clears throat> for what? Uh, you have a village engineer that makes thirty thousand dollars a month. That's getting fifty, getting four hundred thousand dollar grants every year without doing nothing else. Why spend another fifty thousand dollars for a grant writer? That's what the village engineer is supposed to be doing. And then the youth, the youth department is actually her boyfriend. Now, yeah, not only does he have a car wash with a liquor license, but he also is the youth director. He makes $100,000 a year as the youth director. I ain't seen nothing come out of that program yet. And he asked for a 25% increase on the budget. But I, I'm sorry, $25,000 increase on the budget. But I don't understand why. For what? And then another $270,000 more for general liability. For what? Not an increase in the insurances. For what? And then that, that money that was uh, denied from maintenance. Well, remember there's a $65,000 bill as this stands for the epoxy coating on the ice rink that she had the maintenance department bill to their budget for her ice rink through Scott Gilmore, who is still dodging Daniel Timms, the attorney for Pure Tech. She see the, the the they picked up the trustees at some point picked up that she was having these village directors uh, increase their budget so she could have more money to play with. And so they could have more money to play with, too. Everybody's scratching everybody back. Let's continue. Keep going. Let's keep the party going, right? Because he didn't want to tell you what all these numbers was. Want to read numbers, right? Transparency, though, right? Nope. I'm gonna be transparent with you. Uh, then we got salaries. What we at? Nope. 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 We got salaries one million dollars. Okay. Uh, who y'all cutting by a million dollars? Okay. Yep. And then you got what is this? Maintenance supplies for three hundred thousand dollars. Then you got salary overtime for nine hundred thousand. And y'all know that's police department, right? So when you got crime, a shooting, a domestic, anything, who y'all gonna call? Ghostbusters, I'm just saying. Who you gonna call? So then you got maintenance of vehicles, $5,000. So if the truck get broke, I don't know how we're gonna fix it. Then you got other miscellaneous expenses. Don't know what that is. You put $15,000. Then you got ESDA. Y'all don't want emergency services? Okay. So if it's a car accident, you want it to be mandated by a police officer, not an ESDA worker. Make it make sense. This is the stuff I'm talking about. So they took that out of $130,000. Then you did uh, clerks. So you're going to decrease the clerks by $27,000. I hope that's clerk key. Um, then you got maintenance of building forty thousand dollars you got more salaries twenty five thousand these are all reductions they they cutting up the budget by all this money uh then you got regular salaries of three hundred thousand then you got maintenance of sidewalks that's the number one thing everybody keep calling about sidewalks streets and alleys you're gonna be de deducted by two hundred and fifty thousand dollars stop it i'm gonna double it next month uh next you got other pro Pro services, $250,000. Then you got maintenance supplies and other uh, $50,000. I don't know what any of this go to, but this is how he wrote it up. But I'm going to read it into record for you. This is all for the record, by the way, Clerky. And please do not say refer to a mayor's office because this is all from Trustee House. Um, then you got maintenance service. Um, eighty thousand dollars. Then you got other contractional services, twenty six thousand. Everything I'm reading is a, they trying to, to deduct it, so I am not gonna say negative or minus, so you understand. Salaries, you got five thousand dollars. Uh, salaries regular, they got seventy thousand dollars. You got salary for code enforcement. Wow, you want to deduct by fifty thousand dollars? So if you got an abandoned house, don't call us because I don't know who gonna write the ticket because um, you just gonna get squatters and issues. I don't know who gonna enforce, right? Then you got um. Medical insurance premium of twenty five thousand uh, dollars. Board up, you want to take from board ups to five thousand dollars. Other contractional services seven thousand dollars. Operating transfers uh, one thousand one hundred thousand dollars. Lease payments two hundred and twenty thousand dollars. Another maintenance line thirty five thousand dollars. Hauling, so that's like the debris and things when they cut down trees or when they do the uh, the milling. That's twenty five thousand dollars. Operating expenses another twenty five thousand dollars. What am I missing anymore? That's it. Okay, then you got four hundred thousand dollars for 
fire. So that's for an overtime salary. So I don't know how y'all going to run an operation with all these cuts. Please make it make sense, guys. But again, you see how he just did, y'all. <laughs> yeah. We'll tell y'all the items that he cut. You see the amount of money that he cut. How do you run a village without any of those services? These all of them that sit up here. They didn't ask them one question about their department. They didn't ask what they needed. They didn't ask what, what they can cut or trim at. Nothing. This is how they run government blind. They running it blind. With three blind mice, four blind mice. They running it blind. It's a shame that they... I'm going to give y'all a break. I want to bring you to one of the comments. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. It's from Dupa Lynn, right under Josh Spain, who has a blue J, uh, kind of toward the middle. Dupa Lynn said balance is not in her vocabulary. And that is the truth. That is the truth. Um, yeah, there were one million dollars in salary cuts, nine hundred thousand um, for the for in OT. That's all her police detail. You just heard uh, Lacey say earlier in this meeting they were cutting shifts down to eight and a half hours from twelve. So yeah, there's a lot of overtime they're not going to need to spend anymore, and they just got a whole bunch of new vehicles. We've seen the leases, so why do they need um, maintenance for vehicles? And she makes it sound like services are going to be cut. No, they're not going to be cut. The increases that the department heads have asked for have been declined. You haven't seen any increase in invoices or estimates from any of the companies that provide services. And obviously, public works don't do nothing because they outsource almost every single thing. Concrete, when the water mains break. They outsource uh, tree trimming, lawn cutting. They outsource everything. What the fuck does Public Works do? And where is the money to pay for any of these increases to the budget? If you're saying they're not going to be able to, you're not going to be able to run a town without the money that is inside those increases. Where's the money to pay for what's? You got bills right now that aren't being paid. You about to lose your flashy flashing stoplights. You're not, you're not even paying for the things that add to the infrastructure, much less the fluff and balance. That's the key. Got no visions for our town. It's a shame that they're going to cut all these things for you residents. What you supposed to do when y'all call us? Well, how do we handle this? When we say, oh, we sure we can't get nobody to your house at this time. But I got I got an issue. I, I got a robbery in progress. Oh, we can't get you an officer. That's stupid. Y'all need to fix that. You should amend this trusty house. I don't think you should dare do this. I think you should amend this. I think that the residents deserve better. I don't think that it should be um, left up to you guys just to pick numbers and make cuts for whatever your reasons are. I just think that you guys didn't do a good job of talking to the staff about the things you want to cut. Um, and then the lawyer just stated to me because these are the people that do all of the litigations that we have current litigation is pending so we do a negotiation so how do we go to the table when y'all are cutting everything but this is how they put our village in the financial condition that we're about to go in due to your board of trustees so thank them when you see them in passing thank them for all the mess because at the end of the day all it takes is a conversation. So you will know what to do, how to do it, what people got going on in their departments. Yeah, first is communication. Got to talk to people. Can't just make up stuff because you think this is what it is. You don't run day to day. You wouldn't know what it is. Or talk to the VA. He run day to day. But no one does that. And now we're going to vote on a budget that y'all know isn't right. That y'all know this ain't what we need. Y'all know that, right, trustees? I'm throwing this out here. hoping y'all change y'all mind. Y'all know we need better, right? Y'all know we're cutting down more trees where we're basically cleaning up the west side. And now we're starting on the south. Okay, now while she's pimp talking to trustees, um, let me just mention a couple things. She said, if you got a robbery in progress, you won't be able to get an officer. Well, if you can call 911 and they can afford to pay somebody to answer the phone, then they most likely have officers on staff. I mean, the the... $900,000 cut was to overtime. They have 45 officers right now in Dalton. They are well staffed for those five square miles. 
All right, they have an average of nine officers for all for each square mile in Dalton. I think that's doing pretty good. Well, on account that ten percent of them are with Tiffany Henry twenty four seven doing whatever. <laughs> They got 41 officers <laughs> at Dalton at all times. That's still like eight officers per mile, per square mile. So it doesn't seem to me like you'd have an issue with a robbery in progress, progress and an officer not able to make it because there was not an increase to the overtime budget of $900,000. And I'm wondering how Tiffany, this attorney, got her pockets in the shit. What is her involvement here? Where does she play play in here? Because she sure does always have something to say. And maybe she just needs to get a facial and get those bags under her eyes taken care of. She makes plenty of money. And Tiffany, let's talk about Fana again. Because we talked about Fana before. But I want you to just practice using a couple other words to maybe make yourself sound a little smarter. So why don't we try either going to... Or getting ready to. I'll send those to you. I know you don't read your emails, but I'll send them to the other Tiffany and maybe she can relay it to you. Out of trustees. So thank them when you see them in passing. Thank them for all the mess because at the end of the day, all it takes is a conversation. So you will know what to do, how to do it, what people got going on in their departments. Yeah, first is communication. Got to talk to people. Can't just make up stuff because you think this is what it is. You don't run day to day. You wouldn't know what it is. Or talk to the VA. He run day to day. But no one does that. And now we're going to vote on a budget that y'all know isn't right. That y'all know this ain't what we need. Y'all know that, right, trustees? I'm throwing this out here. I'm hoping y'all change y'all mind. Y'all know we need better, right? Y'all know we're cutting down more trees where we're basically cleaning up the west side. And now we're starting on the south side. We're putting up more street lights. Um, and by cutting the trees back, we can see the actual light on the block. Y'all do know we're doing streets. Y'all know we're doing alleys. Y'all know we're doing sidewalks when once upon a time they used to pay 50-50. Now the resident don't pay nothing. And that's still the C CBGD grant that y'all took out of the budget. Why would y'all do that? That's money. What, what what's wrong? They I'm so no, low. They actually didn't take that out of the budget. They actually added to that grant. Stupid. You just read that out loud. You made a mistake at first and said they took it out the budget, but they added to it. But please remember, Ron, as you do your work for Tiffany Henyard, remember that your blood is the blood is in your hands, in your hands, not just on it. If you're out here getting grants that require an um, audit. And we know that there is no audit for 2021, 2022, or 2023, or 2024 for the village of Dalton. And if you know that the CBG grant requires an audit, and if next week you submit that audit, that, that uh, application with an audit, CBG knows that audit is fake, okay? Just keep that in mind. And how you decided to come up with this list. How did y'all decide to come up with the list? Trustee, how you how you decide to come up with this list? Okay. So in looking at the budget, we looked at years historical. And historical years, the items you're saying are cut out are not cut out. They're reductions to be realistic. The budget that we were given had numbers that could not be substantiated, or I don't believe they could be substantiated. Uh, we talked about in the last meeting, we asked about the 6.8 million, the alleged 6.8 million dollars that's coming. It's an appropriation. Asked for when will it come? Could not get an answer. Asked that repeatedly. Mm, mm, and if mm. there is a 6.8 million dollars, when you complete a budget, you also have to you fill out the expenses, which means it's going to be a net zero on terms of the budget anyway. So mm -hmm. all these, and we talked about oh, overtime police before this administration that did not have security details following them around everywhere. Overtime was at six hundred thousand dollars maximum, maximum every year. This administration is at one point six million. How are we going to get service? We need the mayor to stop spending money irresponsibly. That's where the reductions came. Is off of all of the in <sighs> all the expenses that were not necessary until this one came in. And she even said in here. Oh, man, forget that. I'm going to double it. Yep. That's the reason that we have vendors mm -hmm. calling because we can sit here and put it down. there. But the minute that you go out there, tell a vendor you're going to do it 
And then there's not enough money in the bank, which is what we're running into today mm -hmm. because we're receiving lies about money that's coming in. Uh, it went from what, 6.8 million in to 15 million? Never see it in the bank. Mm -hmm. Don't never see it in the bank. And the minute it starts hitting the bank, we can add it in the budget. But other than that, we're just kind of, they're, they're, I, I'm just going to conclude on that point. I think point <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So, so before she feels the need to respond, because you know she does feel the need to respond, somewhere deep down inside her immature, undeveloped soul, she feels the need to respond. But what she doesn't realize is if a person just told lies on you and said some dumb shit, sometimes the best thing to do is be quiet, especially if you've already talked a lot. But somebody makes a comment here that I think was very important. He said a town of 25,000 has a west side. It's 20,000. They only have 20,000 people. There's only five square miles. And there's a west side and a south side. But there's no east side and there's no north side. And I think that's part of the black cult. I love that Go Political made a video. And I watched it again today. Um, it's been added to the breakdown playlist about the black cult. And people, uh, cities have a, leaders have a way of making a fit, uh, the people of the city feel a certain um, affinity to certain things. Just in what's spoken, what's said, what's done, how things are handled. And to, to refer to a city's west side and south side is to make it feel like a black city. Because <clears throat> I grew up on the west side and my friends who didn't grow up on the west side grew up on the south side. But I don't have any friends from the east side or the north side. <laughs> Why is that? Why is that? What, what is the deal with, with this? Not having an east side and the north side because it akins to whiteness. And then the standard has to be higher. Hmm. Y'all need to stop with the, the mayor just spending, the mayor this, the mayor that. If we budget for items, we spend for those items that's budgeted for. I can prove everything that you all accuse me of up here. That's y'all problem. It's hearsay, but you don't see me ever talking about y'all because y'all know where I'm everywhere. Now, as it relates to a budget, you have to put the $6.8 million in the budget. If the money comes through, how are you going to get the money? You ain't even got it in the budget. And y'all know it's true. Every outlet, meaning um, media, wrote about it because everybody was mad. Like I said, when I leave, go anywhere, I bring back a bag. I got awarded uh, $15 million. And you have to wait until it comes down the pipeline like anything else. Anybody understand grant money? And when you go and ask for the grant money, you have to be specific in what you want to use it Not for. Specific. So here it is, my boy, once again, just like I did the $600,000, right? That we went, got... I had to go check in with my daughter and she told me something she just saw on TV about bananas having spiders. <laughs> um, we run into this problem often and it's usually what separates the black people from the niggas. Um, words like specifically. Tiffany Henyard, Stan Brown, Andrew Holmes, anyone else who wants to join, please say with me, specifically, specifically. Okay, now let's also say pacifically, pacifically. Now, pacifically would be something related to the Pacific Ocean, somewhere between Asia and North America, right? That piece of body of water between Shanghai and L.A., is the Pacific Ocean, okay? If you're not talking about that, you should start with s. If you don't hear s or feel s as the beginning sound, you're starting wrong. Say it again. Nobody will be mad at you. Specifically. Specifically. Thank you. Let's continue. Sure, came back to this body and you guys didn't even vote for it. It's grant money. It ain't coming out the general fund. That's the problem with y'all. Y'all want to lead and don't know how to lead. Won't you follow 
my lead and you will understand how to do things like how y'all follow my lead by making videos I, like i said that's flattery but all i'm saying to you is that y'all have to do better you can't come up with this stuff and just say things that's untrue then y'all talk about spending you have to spend in order to improve your town these are things that everybody been complaining complaining about for years for years and never got it and then if you really want to sit and have an adult conversation some stuff that i can really educate you guys on you understand where we get the money from because i keep saying that we this and that where we get what accounts it come from we have all kinds of accounts that the funds come out of but you guys don't want to just sit and educate yourself of how we get trees cut how we get the sidewalk done how we get the alley paid no one wants to learn and that's the problem up here you guys are too proud to come and just really learn from your superman they say it. go ahead uh um attorney she want to say some things for y'all listen <laughs> i just want to say a couple things as it relates to budgeting and appropriate and appropriating just as general principles essentially if you don't appropriate for something and that money comes in, you then cannot spend that money. Mm -hmm. So if the $6.8 million in grants does come in, like the mayor stated it well, regardless, you're not going to be able to spend that money mm -hmm. if, you don't, if you don't appropriate for it. So that is a very serious concern. Mm -hmm. And well, I can understand that, that you guys may or may not believe whether it's going to come in, but my recommendation would be to put that in there, at least have it in the appropriations ordinance. If it does come in, then you can use it. If it doesn't come in, then it doesn't affect the, the budget and appropriations ordinance at all, truthfully. And then the other thing I wanted to point out is that, you know, as the mayor had previously <coughs> stated, we are in the middle of negotiating various. Somebody in the comments said, arrest this white lady too. She is part of the thiefdom. Contracts. <laughs> and it really does tie our hands at the negotiations table uh, when we're not able to make the same offers to other bargaining units that we've settled with. And it, it really, it just makes it very difficult for, for us to negotiate a fair contract. So I just wanted to point those items out to the board. May I make a statement? Go ahead. So um, that was wonderful what you just said, but in oh, October, appreciate it. Yes. October, of Keith read off three other grants that he stated that we got, those are not in the budget. So if we already been approved for those or applying for them or appropriating for them, then why are those but why are those items not allocated in the budget like this six point eight million dollars? Mm -hmm. Then there was a statement that was made um, at a last board meeting that said that even with the negotiations for public works, that they wasn't paying it into May 1st of 2024, which is the next fiscal year. So if you have this money allocated in the 2024, 2025 budget, but you don't plan on paying them to 2025, 2026 budget, then why is it allocated in there? So if you're going to say that the 6.8 of the appropriation, then that means that everything that he read in October should be in there too, since we're talking about transparency and all these grants. So that should be in there also. And those are not being reflected in there. Yeah, all right, are you done? Yes. All right, go ahead, Keith. Um, was that everything she said? Absolutely on point. Andrew Holmes, why do you disassociate during these conversations and then have the nerve to vote? That, was that a question that you were asking whether or not it was reflected, or is that a statement that you were making? That's a question. Because I believe that it's reflected in the six point eight million dollars. It's not individually broke out, but you didn't ask us to individually break it out, nor did you ask a question about that. So I think the first thing is, is before you make an assumption on a budget, you should probably ask the question. I'm not assuming anything. I'm just, I'm just going based off yes, of what you is. just said. <laughs> so the funny. second thing is, is that I would like to know what accounting firm helped you guys put together this budget. How do you guys plan on making up for the half million dollars that we're going to lose for Homewood Disposal? <laughs> You're not passing Stop the bond later on. And is there any, did you guys think of anything? I mean, did you guys have any help with this? <laughs> is there anyone that helped you with this? Or are you guys just going off you guys basic is, accounting skills? Is that what a question? In college? That's a question. <laughs> are you going off what you learned in college? <laughs> is this <laughs> something that you learned in, in, in day camp? Oh yeah. Dang. I know that's tough. That's real tough. There's no way in the world you could cut this much money out mm -hmm. of a budget. Yes, it is. Stop spending. Well, I'll tell you what, if we didn't spend a dime until next year, you still wouldn't be able to cover the resources that you could cut out of this budget. Yes, mm -hmm. we would. How? How do you know? What financial expert told you that? Mm -hmm. Please tell me. 
Oh, it was saying what well, his name was Kasperic? Because I can get him on the phone right now. This is ridiculous. Well, hey, hey, well, hey. He's the accountant, right? I'd really like to know. Can somebody tell me? Oh, it's quiet now. In the words of Tiffany Henry, it's quiet now. I can wait. I have nothing to get, get the Well, then, since he can wait, let me get him some notes. He specifically admitted to specifically. Yeah, that's, see, it doesn't it? It just makes the sentence make so much more sense when you say it correctly. He specifically admits to them spending, and I know the FBI heard it, when he said, if we stop spending today, wow, Keith Freeman, do you realize what you just said? If we stopped spending today, you didn't say spending no, that is not what's going on. What's going on is a city that's being run and operated. This, the, the people of this city, the, the niggas getting what the, the master said they were going to get. No, you said if we stop spending, which means you know that these bills are for spending. And spending is code word for bullshit. Wigs, makeup, flights, hotels, Electric bikes, overpriced vehicles with high interest rates that are above the legal limit. Ice skating rinks and ice skates that people will never have access to. If we stop spending today, you still wouldn't have it. Okay, Keith, keep talking. Get the attorney on, I mean, get the accounting firm on the phone. You, you want to amend it? Okay, go ahead. Um, To... Kind of address um, attorney Nelson Jaworski's uh, comment. I would like to make one amendment for the appropriation, and so I will stay. So just to be clear, you're doing a superseding motion to your own motion. <laughs> okay, um, superseding motion. All items read, but I would. Um, I have great concern because I don't well, about the six point eight million dollars. It was appropriated, but I have great concerns about it coming. And I did ask several uh, times about time frame through via email, but have not got received it, which added to my concerns. Hearing that it needs an appro appropriation, um, just to make sure that we're covered, I would remove the reduction of that from the revenue column, the six point eight, and leave the six point eight million in the budget. I would also add on the expense side $6.8 million worth of grant expenses to um, for it because when you submit the grant, you have to submit the expenses. So that should also be reflected in the budget. It's a no budget. So I would like to remove, to leave the $6.8 million in there, add a $6.8 million line item to account for the adjustment just made. So that was my. A superseding motion is everything as read with the two amendments, and I will send that via email. Thank you. So since you amended stuff, you want to talk to the police and fire department since we are here, and you could ask them questions of why they need what they need in a department? Um, if Now, here's what I find interesting. How many times have you heard a trustee try to talk to a village department head, and, the, and, and this person who sits in the seat of the mayor says, why didn't you try to talk to him earlier? But now she's asking him to talk to them about what they need. All they wanted was some dogs and some more equipment to abuse people with. Some of them uh, Ray-Bans that people can't see through. Some more pins. Dumbass cops. Here's my And the funny, crazy thing is most of them cops ain't even passed their exams. And they still got sworn in. Dumbass motherfuckers. Question, how much was spent on the security detail? Because that adjustment came strictly because of the security detail, which we think... Uh, we've no, the firemen don't protect me, so no, yeah. it did not. I, I, you did yeah, the firemen. I want to ask questions. That's my question. How but it did not. Ask? Okay, much. trusty. Why are you so concerned about my security detail that you guys got me happen to have? Because all y'all mess that y'all created. Let's be crystal clear about that. So stop with the drama. Like I'm over it. Y'all have no idea the things y'all created with just lies. Lies. I'm a single black woman. So you better miss me with that. Stop with my security detail stuff. It's in the CBA. Read your stuff. I'm sick and tired of coming here. I have to prove myself to people like you that don't even know what to do with it. 
If you want to run against me, you run in 2025, but you don't put my safety in jeopardy. Let's be clear. Okay. So I'm not going to keep playing. Before she start deflecting, because um, I hear it coming, because she about to forget what she was talking about, and then she's just going to start talking about anything. Um, the whole reason why she has security, and I explain this stuff over and over again, y'all, for those of us who are new, 82% um, of the people who watch these videos on a regular basis <clears throat> are not subscribed to this channel. Therefore, I don't ever know if who's watching this channel is new to this story or not. So I try to make sure that I cover information in a comprehensive way um, to reduce the amount of questions that need to be asked. And I just want to explain the reason why she has security detail in the first place. While it is allowed to her in the CBG, which is the Collective Bargaining Agreement, CBA, um, all elected officials in Dalton have access to security. Let's be clear. The reason why she has four of the 45 um, police officers um, is because she ran her mouth system. She, she wasn't supposed to say there was a young lady who was killed by a police officer in Dalton and she uh, stood behind the police officers and their actions were egregious against egregious against the um, young lady and her family. Um, and Dalton is still paying out lawsuits to the family. Um, you might see Miss um, Carrie Wilson in the chat. That is the mother of Alexis Wilson. Um, and so, um, that's why she had to have security because of her comments because people started posting up at her house which i've done with organizations before we paying for this goddamn house we gonna sit outside of it until you get ready to go to work tomorrow um and then um she says she's a single black woman but she lives with a man who she calls her daughter's father's fi father figure who makes a hundred thousand dollars a year as the village uh youth services director and um uh, has a whole nother family on the other side of town and um and 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 is her man so she has a man now whether he'll marry her or not is different her being single has nothing to do with you know her protection she got a man at home and i guarantee you they got pieces with y'all so talk about something else you talk about something else sick of this i told you you sitting here bank rubbing the town that's what y'all doing bank rubbing the town Bank rubbing, bank rupting, bank rupting. It's it, Keith Freeman should know how to say this word. Because Keith, didn't you just file for bankruptcy and forget to tell him you work for Thornton Township too? Bank rupting. Bank, you've been reading the comments, so you know what people are saying about you, Tiffany Freeman Hill. Tiffany Henyard. You obviously know what people are saying about you because it's a word that's gone on a lot concerning you that you are bankrupting Dalton. Bankrupting. They're not bankrupting anything. They are bankrupting. You are bankrupting. But talk to Keith Freeman. He's got tiny fingers. Ugh, that's gross. Um, he should be able to help you pronounce that word better. Okay, baby? Okay, honey. Because y'all cut all this stuff with no focus, no direction, no vision, no answers, no questions. Didn't I tell y'all she was going to start deflecting and just talk about anything because she don't know what she can't remember what she's talking about. Y'all just came and did it because y'all felt like it. that ain't how y'all run government. That's why y'all don't need to be in y'all seats because y'all didn't get the right advice. He asked you clear as day. Who told y'all this? We asked Where you get it from? Hold on, no trustee. Answer. You out of line. And y'all had no answer. But yeah, y'all keep coming up here, putting on this show. But you putting the people in harm's way. Stop it. Whatever our fights are, is our fights. Whatever we gonna do, we gonna do. But stop neglecting the people. Stop. I didn't run to neglect people. I ran to help them. Trustee House. How you run on my ticket, follow my vision, then get here to bore me and then want to take a person out. That's sickening. You played it. Shame on you. If you wanted to see, you should have ran against me, but you didn't. But now you got to create chaos to think you're going to win something that you ain't going to win. Stop. But what I will not do, and I'm not up here, is put my safety in jeopardy. I'm not. So stop trying to pick something to sit here and catapult you to something that you would Ooh. never be. Stop. Catabolt. I'm sick of it. And for those women that's right here with you sitting back watching the, the nutball stuff, Y'all should be ashamed of y'allself because I am you. But y'all sit back and do this little show like we ain't people. I'm a human being before anything. Stop. Call her out. Ask me. And no, shut up, Andrew. Because I was actually just about to remind us that she is currently covering for Andrew Holmes, who 
This is January 2024. May of 2023, he was accused of raping and drugging a staff member of Tiffany Henyard. And to this day, has not been brought to justice and has been covered for by Tiffany Henyard and Keith Freeman. Um, now, I want to remind us of something, especially the trustees. I know you guys don't like that I say this, but this is not a no judgment zone. The next time you think about endorsing someone, just imagine living with them before you do. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, of course there's one more. What the fuck is Catabolt? That sounds like a ride at an amusement park. Is anybody second me? Second. All right. Go ahead, uh, trustee. You know, one thing about, you know, pulling or deducting this maintenance, you know, you, you, you're you putting this village in harm's way. We can't afford if these vehicles go down and the funds are not there. We can't afford to wait on another municipality to get their police here once the residents call. Fire department, the same thing. We, we can't afford. If that truck goes down to wait on somebody else, you, you know, you, you're going to put this village in a life and death situation and the criminals are going to have a field day if our vehicles are not being operated or maintenance. We can't afford to cut anything in there. And once they find out that we don't have vehicles and they're waiting on Harvey or someone else to get here, guess what? It's going to be a field day here. And if our maintenance is not up to par in this fire department, we don't have some lives lost. It's going to be a critical incident, and they're going to have a field day. You need to think about safety first. I'm done. All right, call around. Y'all, after they call this roll, I'm going to let, you, let us go for a second and allow this video to upload. Um, the first premiere of this meeting marathon, The Dark Truth About Mayor Tiffany's Team Revealed, is actually going to be premiering in about the next five minutes. So I want to be there for that. Um, so this video actually should probably upload around midnight Mountain Standard Time. Um, or maybe I'm on Pacific Time now. I don't know. I live in Arizona. Our times don't change. But it'll be about, I think, about 3 a.m. Eastern Time when this one uploads that you're listening to now. So I don't know how far we into it. But in a few minutes, I'm going to drop off of here and um, I'll meet you <laughs> at the video in the past. <laughs> Let me lay them finish their, their role. Okay. I'll do your thing. This was his minutes, correct? What happened? Just, uh, uh, oh, man. Every time. She she ignorant ignorant as well. as well. Clark Key, Colorado. Okay. Aye. No. Aye. Aye. No. Aye. Okay, welcome to Board of Trustees just bankrupt the village of Dalton. Next, is there a motion to accept? Now, before they go into this next vote, I'm going to let us go. I'm going to um, go ahead and upload this while we're um, in this first meeting marathon video. What we're watching now is number three, and then I'll come back and finish number four. It'll come on sometime when you get ready to go to work. And then... Uh, <laughs> And then we'll be done with this meeting. For for now, that's all I got. She in the other room. I don't know if you can hear. Ain't got no more. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Bye, I, I holler. Bye.